Hello and welcome to this, the video walkthrough for Primrose Cottage here in Spring Lane in the village of Cold Ash, just to the northeast of Newbury. If you are watching this video, you could well be considering moving home. We would be delighted to either attend your property in person or undertake a video appraisal at a time to suit you. This will help you understand your current home's value and we can discuss planning a strategy for sale. Simply call us on the number on the screen now and we'll be delighted to set this up for you. Now let's get on with the video. So here we are, Primrose Cottage, built in 1964, been in the same ownership uh, of our client since 1998, situated on Spring Lane, which is a private lane, right in the heart of Cold Ash Village. As you can see, there's off-road parking at the front for three to four vehicles at a push garage to the side we'll head on in and do the inside and uh, I'll show you around so as I said it's built in 1964 same ownership since 1988 it is within an easy walk of the village shop and pub which are just out on the road in the village Here you can see we've come into the entrance hall kitchen over there sitting room dining room in front of us and then to my right is the downstairs shower room. There is another bathroom upstairs which is en suite to one of the bedrooms. So yes, the village of Cold Ash has two pubs, village shop, very sought after primary school uh, and the private downhouse school. Some lovely walks surround the village. Here we are into the kitchen. Kitchen has been refitted. You've got a hob built in there. Double ovens. There is a fridge and freezer to the right of the ovens, which I shall just show you. So that's all integrated. Door out to the side by the garage. We'll head out there last of all and show you the garage. And something, uh, there we go view out the front onto the parking area and the lane. Something I found quite nifty was a drawer under the sink, which I've got to say, you don't see that often. Certainly some extra useful storage. So back out into the hallway, you can see there's wood floor in here. Here's the sitting room. The rear face is south, so the garden is south facing, as is the sitting room and dining room. As you can see, it's a good sized room with an open fire and the window looks out onto the garden and there's a door into the large conservatory at the rear. There we go. You've got a couple of patio terraces, veg patch. I'll take you out there and show you last of all. So that's the sitting room. It's got a really nice atmosphere, this room. Heading back out, round to our left, into the dining room which again has French doors into the conservatory and there we go there's a storage cupboard over in that right hand corner the house has got gas central heating it's UPVC double glazed it's on mains drainage mains water mains electricity there's the conservatory which is a really good size conservatory the lane is a private lane. The ownership of the lane is a little unclear, um, but houses on this lane sell regularly um, and any issues with access would be overcome by an indemnity policy. Feel free to ask us if you want details of what an indemnity policy is. Back into the dining room. We're going to go back into the hall and just show you the shower room. On the left there's understairs storage there. No, I'm going to miss the shower room. <laughs> uh, up to the first floor. You've got a big storage cupboard there. And then one of the double bedrooms. There's Eve's storage in this right-hand corner. And then there's a built-in wardrobe behind the door, which as I swing round, you will see. There we go. Uh, just poke in there. There's the boiler. And there's the eave storage. So there's some quite useful storage up here. 
Uh, and there is the view from the first floor, which you can't see terribly well with this camera, but it goes right across the Kennet Valley to the Hannington Aerial, right on the North Hampshire Downs. So it's a beautiful view from upstairs. This is where the accommodation gets a little unusual. Uh, you've got another double bedroom here with ensuite to my left. There we go, ensuite bathroom. So there is no shower in this bathroom, but there is in the downstairs shower room, which I conveniently forgot to film. access to a small loft as it's a chalet obviously you're in the loft to a degree but there is a small loft space and more eve storage in there and then you come through that double bedroom to this room which could be used as a bedroom workroom home office um, slightly unusual obviously because it's through one of the bedrooms but there is a very large storage area in there so two stroke three bedrooms i've described it as um, two definitely but if you don't mind accessing through a, another room, you've got a very generous third as well. And there's the view out to the fields. So let's head downstairs. I'll take you out through the conservatory into the garden. The door ahead of us goes into the back of the garage. There is an electric roller door on the front, uh, which I'll take you and show you at the front in a moment. Two patio areas, fruit come vegetable cage to my left, and an area of lawn. As I say, it faces roughly south and you've got pedestrian access to either side of the building. So you can get right around the side of the property. But there you have it, Primrose Cottage. It has got solar for your hot water. And it's quite a big area to that side, as you can see, that it's got gated access to the front. So I'll take you back out the front, just show you the garage. Here we are on the driveway, door to the kitchen on my right, bin storage area to the left and access to the side. And there you have the single garage with power and light, pedestrian door to rear and up and over door. And there we have it. That is the video walkthrough for Primrose Cottage, a two stroke three bedroom detached cottage in Spring Lane, right in the heart of Cold Ash. Usual caveats apply, we don't take any responsibility for any errors or omissions in this video. We produce these to try and be helpful. If there is anything that's of particular importance to you before you come to view, please do get in touch. We'd be delighted to try and answer any questions. As ever, thanks very much for watching. Till next time.